So we've been in the Western Cape now for about almost three weeks. It's been unintentional. We've had to stay just going through some family stuff. So we've just been trying to sort all of that stuff out. So haven't been able to travel as much and do as many things as um, I would have liked to have done. But we're still making the most of the situation. So one big thing we're going to be doing today, and I had to do it before we leave, is we are going to be traveling to a little town called Grabo, and we're going to do the Sir Lowry's Pass for Bafour Trail. So that's that's going to be really cool. That's going to be beautiful. So I'm super excited. And today I'm going to have Chandel with me, which is awesome. The last video, I didn't get to have her with me. She was dealing with family things, so I had to do that one on my own. That's why the quality wasn't as nice. Um, but... Yeah, it's going to be really cool to have somebody with me today. But anyways, we'll check you guys on the trail. Cheers. We arrived at the clubhouse. Our playground for today would be one of the Hrobo 4x4 trails. Off we went, surrounded by nothing but beautiful scenery. Recently, the Western Cape went through a very rough drought. It's fantastic to see such lush greenery. That's where we're headed, all the way up there. The trail couldn't wait to get us started with a bang. Within the first five minutes, we already had a wheel in the air, putting flecks of the solid axles to the test. I decided to follow a small detour path through a ravine. It seemed a bit overgrown and the track was incredibly rough. But I figured the Jimny was yet to disappoint so why not give it a go? Off I went confidently, crawling over the rough rocky terrain. Eventually reaching a point where the road was so overgrown we couldn't go any further. But with the track being so narrow, there wasn't any way to turn around and I had to reverse back, testing the Jimny even more. We also decided to do a little bit of human off-roading and take a walk to the nearby waterfall which wasn't really flowing all that much, but it was still a nice little break from being jostled around the car. The next section of the trail would lead us through some beautiful winding roads, with the land around us changing around every corner.
is now time to make our way down the mountain. I can't imagine what this trail will be like in a couple years time when these young trees turn into fully blown forests. Check these side walls out. That is why you go with a proper all-terrain tire if you're doing this kind of stuff. And you can see, you can see there that the side walls were actually gripping things. So that little bit of extra tread that BF put around the edge of the tire definitely comes in handy. That was an amazing drive. A morning really, really well spent here in Gerbo. It's one of those, I, I didn't expect this type of terrain to, to come out of a place like this. It, it felt like I was somewhere in America driving through Oregon. It is sensational. The rocky, super rocky, slippery terrain, lots of loose rocks and things like that. We had a quite a lot of steep inclines, declines with axle twisters and quite hardcore stuff. Um, different to the previous trail, the previous trail was more kind of obstacle based but this was way harder. This we were, we were bumping the underneath of the car, we were feeling the real limitations of the vehicle, we were feeling the limitations of the ground clearance with having small tires, we were feeling all of that stuff. Um, this is where having things like rock sliders and bash plates and where that kind of comes to life is out here. The BF Goodridge has definitely performed incredibly well. I mean, this, the, the rocks were sharp, the, the, the terrain was loose, there was barely any traction. I mean, just to walk up the hill is difficult. The tires just stuck, barely any wheel spins, anything like that. The only time the vehicle really kind of did anything horrible was my fault as a driver. Um, there were a couple of really big ditches and once or twice I slipped a wheel Ouch. into the ditch and you know my caught death. underneath of the vehicle a bit. But otherwise it was really really sensational. The views, this I would 150% recommend coming out here and experiencing this trail. It is really really good. And we've only done one part of it. There's a whole other section of it to do, which I don't know is if it's as intense and maybe it's a bit more scenic. I'm not too sure. I don't know. It looks really cool. So it's something to come back and do again next time. I'm glad we came out here today though, and I'm looking forward to making our way back to Johannesburg. We might be stopping in a place, a little campsite in the Swartberg on the way back. So that'll be interesting. I feel like I'm getting into the whole swing of making the videos and doing all that stuff and I've really been enjoying it. It does take a lot more time when you're out on a trail to stop, get out the car, go full, put, set up a camera, film, or Shandell's running out the car into the heat to go and film and we're driving a little bit and we're stopping and then we're getting back in the car and it's a lot of work, it's a lot of effort to try and make these videos and stuff so I don't know if you'll have seen or not but I have started a Patreon page because I would like to do this more often. I really, really would. I've really been enjoying it and I, I feel like the more I can get into it and the more time I can put into it, the better and better I can make these videos. So 
I would appreciate it if you just go and have a look at the Patreon page. Um, you know, if you can donate a coffee or, you know, something small towards the channel and that would be hugely appreciated and it'll go a long way. So, yeah, but that today has been great. And I'm really looking forward to the rest of the trip. I'm looking forward to getting home. And uh, we've almost been away for a month. So it's going to be nice to get back home, get into the editing suite and, you know, put some stuff together for you guys. And yeah, so if you want to see more videos, you want to stay tuned, you want to, you know, get involved, please like the video down below, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.